remove the platform plate and unscrew the hand twist nuts underneath the hotbed plate, keep them for later use. Take down the hotbed plate and keep the springs for later use. Loosen the timing belt tensioner and remove the ends of the timing belt. Remove the screws of the timing belt tensioner. Take off the tensioner and the timing belt, keep them for later use. Remove the slider plate from the Y-axis profile. Unplug the Y-axis motor wire and Y-axis limit switch wire. Remove the Y-axis motor and motor bracket. Remove the screws on the base plate. Carefully remove the base plate, noting that the fan wire is connected to the main board. Unplug the fan wire. Remove the screws securing the Y-axis profile. Remove the screws securing the main board and cables. It is recommended not to unplug other cables from the main board. Replace the original profile with the new profile. Secure the new profile onto the machine.
re-secure the main board onto the machine. Plug the fan wire of the base plate into the main board. Resecure the base plate onto the machine. Be careful not to press on other cables. Resecure the Y axis motor bracket onto the profile. Resecure the Y axis motor onto the bracket. Plug in the motor wire and limit switch wire. Remove the four screws on the slider plate. Use M48 screws and M14 nuts to respectively fit onto the long beams. Place the auxiliary spacer plate on the machine casing. Then place the long beam against the Y-axis profile on the spacer plate. Ensure that there is a slight gap between the long beam and the front plastic or they are in contact. Then tighten the screws.
Use M36 screws to secure the linear guide onto the long beam. At this point, you can print two auxiliary installation fixtures to better maintain the parallelism of the two linear guides. Place the small pad on the slider, then place the support plate on the small pad, and secure them onto the slider with M38 screws. Then slide the slider to check if it can move smoothly and touch the Y-axis limit switch. Place the circular silicone gasket on top of the support plate's threaded hole. Use M58 screws to secure the slider plate onto the support plate. Pay attention to the direction of the slider plate, the smallest angle of the slider plate faces the motor. First screw in the screws into the two small holes on the slider plate the two on the right in the video, then install the other screws. Thread the timing belt through the profile and wrap it around the motor's timing pulley. Install the timing belt tensioner back onto the Y-axis profile. Secure the ends of the timing belt onto the slider plate, and adjust the tension of the timing belt to the appropriate tightness. Reinstall the hotbed plate onto the slider plate, making sure not to twist the hotbed wire. Install the springs and hand twist nuts.
place the platform plate back onto the hotbed plate. 